Hi, it's Patty from Three Dimensional Scrapping Blogspot com, and I have created a vintage scrapbook for my sister. It is a combination envelope and chipboard scrapbook. I guess you call it a mini book, uh, inspired by Laura from Following the Paper Trail and she makes mini albums out of envelopes which I've incorporated. Also I've used chipboard to try and give it a little bit more stability and uh, I like the variations with the two different textures. I used a couple different papers. I used from K and Company um, Rome die cut with a view and I used from Amanda Blue Summer Solstice, which is where I got a lot of the butterflies from. And I've also used Mariposa paper and a lot of a lot of different embellishments that I've had um, just hanging around in my scrap room. But uh, let me see if I can show you. Um, on the cover, there's uh, the flowers I handmade. Uh, these were inspired uh, to me by um, Roxy Car 11, and she makes beautiful flowers. And we'll miss her because she's not around right now. And um, the flowers, um, I, I varied them a little bit uh, differently, the two of them. And then I put a little something in the center because I thought it needed a little more sparkle on this side of the page. This embellishment here on the top. Um, live out loud. This is for my sister who's having a birthday. Happy birthday Kathy. And I wanted her to see um, some things that I've been working on so I kind of threw in all the techniques that I have up my sleeve just for her. Um, this is the first time I've actually used a clasp like this to close a mini. Um, underneath I've stamped a basket and the basket is overflowing with all kinds of uh, goodies, little birds, butterflies, and butterflies are very close to our family. It's a personal thing between all of us, and um, there's butterflies flutter buying on this entire book. Um, I was going to use a ring for like a three ring binder to uh, close it together, however, um, I found that it was tearing on the hinge and I would have to work on that because it I see people do it, but it never works for me. So I ended up just using this cording on it uh, with a little lock over here. I'll show you up close. And um, I use these little grommets um, that I, I believe are from Seven Gypsies, which I found at a scrapbook show this past weekend. And um, I'm glad I found them because I, I, I always see people have something here, but I didn't know what they were using. So uh, thank you for you know, giving me a close-up of them one day so I could see what they were. Um, so this heart closure just uh, slides open like this. And on the inside of the book, on my first page, um, because it's staggered, they, they do kind of stick together a little bit from one little piece to the other. But on this side of the page, um, I just have a small pocket. Um, this is a split page. Um, I put this big giant butterfly because my sister will know exactly why and uh, a little tag on here that I've stamped and distressed that um, she'll be able to put whatever she wants to on there. On this side, um, I've made a, um, this is made with the envelope, the uh, mailing envelopes. I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions, but Laura following the paper trail knows all about them. And on here I have um, some butterflies that I cut out of the paper and just stuck them on both sides here and here and inside here um, she makes them with two tags sticking out but I was having a difficult time trying to figure out I didn't want to hide this part over here because it looks so pretty so um, I just made long skinny tags because I needed to leave room for the grommets on the side so I took a smaller tag I cut it down to make it real skinny and I stamped it with the same basket that's on the cover and then I painted the flowers on myself and on the back is just plain until I write all those little love notes to my sister to wish her happy birthday and on this side I have a little bird stamp that says fly and then this I cut out of some paper and these I purchased separately and I have them on little pop dots 
Um, this is the Mariposa paper, which is absolutely beautiful, and it's hard to see how pretty it does shimmer. I trimmed this with ribbon, and I know a lot of them are, are supposed to have, because they're envelopes, they have little things stuck in them, but because I'm putting very personal things inside there, I, um, it just it's all going to be handwritten things that are just for her. So some I won't show you because I haven't written them yet. Um, this I trimmed with um, regular satin ribbon down the sides. It has like a fringe on it. And this page here is her initials, KP. And um, we call her KP Judy. We'll make her do the dishes. And inside here is a card that I have tagged with a paper clip. And one side it has a little house on it. Like this. There's two tags in there stuck together. I'll leave that out for now. And here I have a one little thing that says bloom and on the back I'll put a note for her. And um, this I just adhered down to the bottom. I thought that these were kind of glittery and cute. And this side is uh, chipboard. Um, here I distressed it and then I, I UD'd it and um, heat embossed that and used some small rhinestones on the side. The butterflies are from uh, K and Company, uh, which I had a whole sheet of those. I just love them. They're very pretty. A lot of dimension to them. As you can see up close, they're really cute. Um, the next page has um, she, my sister's an awesome mom. And her babies are all grown now, so it's time for her to grab grandbabies, hint, hint, hint. And uh, in here I just have a little card for her inside. But I thought she would like the little mommy mention of her life being a mommy. And the, the stroller I cut out from the carriage is cut from the, my cricket. And so is the word mommy from the Mother's Day collection. And that I used the, uh, the Mariposa glitter paper on. Um, here is oops, let me leave that out. Um, here is an open envelope where I will put notes, but I didn't like them plain inside, so I did put paper in there, and then I also added this. Um, I cut this out with a punch, um, just because I didn't like the raw edge of the uh, the page to show. So I've tried different variations on each page. Just like this one over here is just plain. And down here, I just have a, a, a chipboard that goes that matches the collection from Mariposa. And here too, I have a bingo card that I want to stick in there. Now this side is um, paper craft that I've done um, with the circles. This took me forever, and to be honest, um, I don't think it came out that great. But it does show my sister what I've been working on. So since she lives out of state, I don't see her too often. I want her to. She's my crafty sister, so I like to keep her up on what's going on. Um, these little tags that I'll put things on for her. And in here is another tag that I made and I painted. And on the back side I'll journal. There's a little bling on it. And a crucifix. I'll leave that for now. And inside here, I love this clip two reasons. Um, it's uh, keeping this down a little tighter for me than I'd like because it's so thick. And um, also I'll be able to clip a photo on here of uh, our mom and dad. And in here I left this open too so we can, uh, uh, she can slide photos or whatever she wants to in there. Over here is another handmade flower that I did. And up here um, in the envelope closure, I, I put a magnet in it to, to keep it down. And I thought that kind of gave a little, a little something different. And um, and then inside I have a tag in there. And this tag too also comes off so I can put things on the back of this one. And to the next one. This is just, I couldn't think of anything to put on this paper except for, I'll probably put a photo there. But I just thought that the... Um, the flourish was pretty, and the butterflies all by themselves really didn't need too much more to go on that page. On this page over here, it's more the Mariposa paper, and open to this side, and I have uh, some sheet music, comes from uh, one of the missiles at our church, I know she'll like that, and I left it open so I